Hey, what's up? It's Aaron from Here in Our Tech, and I'm gonna try to make this video a little quick, only because I I don't really feel very well. So, um, but I still want to do an unboxing, um, because I just wanted to uh, show you. Because it's actually I was really excited to get this. Um, I ordered this for two ninety nine, but there was like shipping charges and an international fee or whatever. So I ended up paying close to like close to it was like around three three sixty or something like that for it. But um, but it was a part of a. The reason why I ordered it because I live in Canada and ordered it from the states was because um, it was the only place that I could find that still offered. Well, there was like two other places, but those are in the states as well. Um, that still offered the promo where if you buy if you order this microphone, you get this one for free. So, and I've actually I was actually looking into buying this anyways. So, and I was actually looking to upgrade. Um, my microphone, because like as you know, my other microphone, well maybe you don't know, but my other microphone is the Blue Yeti Pro, um, and I take my, mu my music very serious, so the Blue Yeti Pro is a great microphone, really versatile, but it doesn't have the big booming vocal sound that I wanted, so, because it has three small capsule uh, condensers, whereas this one large diaphragm, so, um, yeah, as you can tell, it's a blue, obviously blue, right there, Bluebird uh, microphone. Um, and I always stick with blue mics because I really, really like them. I've have, have had, ugh, stutter. I've had the blue Snowball as my first ever microphone. It was really great, hundred bucks. And um, then the blue Yeti Pro, and now this. And uh, I just, I've always done my research, and I've always just really, really liked blue blue products. So, um, it also includes the uh, custom pop filter and shock mount. I actually did use this because I was actually staying at a friend's house. Um, and we were recording music because uh, we were like, might as well bust this open and use it now. So, um, yeah, but it's all still in the original content. I know I kind of talk a lot for the, like, I have, like, these really long talking intros for the video. But, um, I apologize if you don't like those. I, I only say it just because I want to tell you the pricing and stuff and where I got it from. So, um, this is just, uh, you know, whatever, regi registration card or whatever. Um, you got the booklet which is pretty cool. It tells you a lot about the microphone. I did actually read this because it's it's good to read. It will tell you like what it's good for um, and how like how to get the uh, like how to use it properly and stuff. So there it is. The blue blue bird. Um, and then in here you get the accessory the universal accessory pack which is the uh, oh yeah I forgot the, the wall. I, forgot, I didn't really forget to say because I wasn't going to say so I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, what I was going to say also was uh, I really like how it comes with a shock map because the Blue Yeti Pro didn't come with one. Um, so it, it, it's like I had to like, I never used the shock map. This is the first shock map I've ever had. So, because um, I wasn't going to pay $60 for the uh, Yeti Pro shock map. Um, but anyway, so here's the pop filter. Really cool. I know it's small and stuff, but if you're using, if you're just getting this to do podcasts or just speech or something, it would work fine. I do have another one, which is over here. If I can fit this, yep, there's my other one, which I'll probably use both, more than likely. I'll try it with just without, and then if not, then I'll use both, but I'll put that on in a second. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, the only downfall is the microphone doesn't come with any type of cable or cord anything, so kind of sucks. Can't use it here at my friend's house. I was using his, well, kind of his cord, um, but yeah, so I'm just picking up a cord tomorrow. Because the Yeti Pro is a 5-pin XLR, so it's different. Um, this is just a screw that's uh, apparently over in, like, I don't know, Europe or something different. Uh, they use a different one, so I don't need that, though. And then here's the birdcage is what they call it, so it's really cool. Uh, it looks really nice. You got the blue the, um, beveling. No, not beveling. Uh, engravement. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But, yeah, it looks really nice. Um... I'll put that over here right now. I will put everything on it, um, actually, as well, but I'll just show you the mic and stuff. Well, I'll just leave it like this. So, uh, yeah, I really, 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 probably one of my favorite things is the how it comes with this really nice looking uh, wooden box protective case. So you can bring it around and uh, you don't have to worry about anything. And they do a quality control certification, so there you go. 
and then voila. So like I said, if you want to bring this thing around, you can put it in this this box, really nice looking box, really padded, and it won't it'll be in good shape as long as the box don't like don't really crash or something. But uh, here's the microphone itself. Like I said, it's a blue Bluebird microphone. You got your three pin XLR. It doesn't have like any other features. It's only cardioid, so it records in the front like a heart shape. Um, you got your golden blue logo there. Bluebird, like I said. Um, there's a ca capsule, so obviously you sing in this one. You can see it when I shine the light off it. If I can see if I can get it again. There you go. So there's the capsule in there. Really, really nice build. Really nice. Um, amazing sound quality. It is really, really a great microphone. I highly recommend. And then, like, you would put the, the pop filter like this. I'm not going to do it right now because, like I said, I'm not feeling very well. And then you screw this on like this. I will actually put this in here, so if anyone wants to see, um, yeah, I'll do that for them because I've done this before. Never put the shock on, or the pop filter on yet because, like I said, um, I was using that at a friend's house and we already had a other pop filter, so we didn't use both. I can't really see past the camera what I'm doing, so. Anyways, just hold the bottom one, the bottom screw thing, and screw this in and keep screwing it until it feels pretty tight. Um, I find that I can't go super tight because once I, like, well, you never want to go too tight, but like it's starting to get tight now, so you just keep going until the blue is at the front, so like that. I could tighten it more, but then it wouldn't be at the front, so you don't want that, obviously. But uh, so there you go, that's that. Um, so like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, uh, give me a like. I always appreciate any of the support, and I will do an unboxing of the Encore as well. If if that's already up, then I hope you can check out that video. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Whoops, knocked the camera.